James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 8th, 2023, noon central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had a directly earth-facing M flare, a rather strong M3.6 solar flare out of sunspot group AR3394. Now, this occurred right about 9.40 UTC time. Let's take a look at this sunspot group. Heading over to HMI intensity gram, we see sunspot group AR3394 here directly earth facing. Now, it looks like a large sunspot group. I just checked the complexity. It's not complex at all. It's an alpha sunspot group. We do expect it to continue to flare and to become more complex as it moves further towards our western limb facing these gas giants that we all know are up and coming. Over to Lasco C3, we actually have this event here. Please notice the time, 8, 8, right before 9. And we can see coming out of the 7 o'clock position of our sun, really all positions, a halo explosion here. And that was the coronal mass ejection emitted from the explosion from AR3394. So yes, definitely a CME was created, and most definitely it's inbound towards Earth, period. Almost unbelievably, we're back in a serious proton storm. This is radiation. They're calling this an R3 radiation event, which is very strong here. I assume the X-flare combo M-flares caused this from yesterday. It crept up, and now we're past the space weather warning threshold which means our polar cap absorption event continues. Heading over to the D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we see that the X-ray absorption is serious. We're still dealing with that polar absorption event. And this is what they're calling the M3.6 flare. Notice the radio alternation here, off the charts unbelievable definitely looks stronger than a 3.6 m flare you can see that it actually magnified our polar absorption event which is ongoing now for the last 48 hours plus all right over to sto we'll start with 193 angstroms we're looking in this area here ar3394 and we didn't see anything See if this goes through that time period. We'll skip ahead. Going into the 8th. And it blacked out over that time period. Let's see if we can see. I don't want you to see what this one looked like. So, ladies and gentlemen, it blacked out over that time period. I guess that was the hit. Here we are into the 8th right now watch that sunspot they just blacked it out as the event occurred very strange we're going to go see if we can find it on well core all right we're almost to the eighth here you can see it becomes the eighth right now and it stops at 6 12 and that is the end of it so this occurred two hours after this or two and a half hours after this. They're making this very difficult. The crazy thing is we have all that we need right here. There's the event and there is the CME. Y'all can see that it's generally a halo CME. Although some of it started prior to this event. This definitely reinforced the halo CME. And this will definitely be a chronal mass ejection that is earthbound, period.
Now, NASA and NOAA both called out a strong event along with the EESA on the 8th. We're not seeing anything like that. We saw three hours of geomagnetic disturbance on the estimated planetary index from 7 to 10 last night. Also on the Boulder Index, they pulled it up as a geomagnetic storm, KP5 on the college. Nothing has showed up whatsoever today on the Fredericksburg Index. Maybe it has not come, but we do only have six more hours until the official end of the 8th. With that said, God bless you and yours. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.